<sighs> Hi, Esther. Are you okay, Emmett? That was a very big sigh. I've been reading the Bible again. Oh, is that why you sighed? Yes. You know how sometimes when we talk about the Bible, we say that some things that happen in the Bible are odd? Yes. We have sometimes said that some of the stories seem odd. Well, today I read a story that may be the oddest story I have ever read in the Bible. Really? What story have you been reading? It's a story about Jesus and someone who lives in a place with a name that sounds like some cows. A name that sounds like some cows? Yeah. Jesus met someone who lived in a place that sounded like it might have been named after Guernsey cows. Hmm. I have heard of Guernsey cows. They have that name because they came from the island of Guernsey that's in the English Channel. So, maybe Jesus was on the island of Guernsey. I don't think so. What happened when Jesus arrived, wherever it was that he arrived? Well, Jesus and his disciples arrived there, and they were met by somebody who, well, someone who lived in a cemetery rather than in a house. And the story says that for a long time the person didn't wear any clothes. Must have been warm wherever they were. And the person started yelling at Jesus. I think I know which story you've been reading. Jesus and his disciples were in a place called Gerasene. Gerasene? Is that another kind of cow? No. It was probably a community east of the Sea of Galilee in the time of Jesus. Well, this man yelled at Jesus to leave him alone. But Jesus didn't leave him alone. Jesus knew that the man was not well. It was like someone else was controlling the man, like some kind of spirit was controlling him. That sounds weird. Well, sometimes when a person is really, really scared or when something really bad and hurtful has happened to a person, that person might be so upset that he or she acts differently than they would usually act. You mean like yelling at someone or trying to avoid being around other people? Yes, and in the story, Jesus asks the man what his name was, and the man answers, Legion. Yeah, I thought that even his name was weird. A legion was actually the name of a unit of the army of the Roman Empire which ruled the land where Jesus was. There would have been several thousand soldiers in a legion. So, was this man in the army? No, but the army had invaded that land and now ruled it, so it was probably the man's fear of the legions and his sadness at the land being invaded that caused him to act like he did. So. Jesus was helping the man be less afraid. I think so. Well, that was good for the man, but not so good for some pigs that were there. Right. Jesus told the spirit of Legion to leave the man, and the spirit left the man and went into some pigs instead. Yeah. I guess they went into some pigs because there were none of those garrison cows around. There are no garrison cows. Oh. But there are garrison pigs? There were pigs there, and when the spirit of Legion went into the pigs, the pigs all ran into the lake and drowned. That's kind of sad. It's a story, and it would have reminded people of the story of Moses. Now I'm really confused. How would it remind people of the story of Moses? Well, Moses led people out of slavery in Egypt, and they were chased by Pharaoh's army. And when they got to the Red Sea, the waters moved apart, and Moses and the people crossed in safety. I remember that story. But when Pharaoh's army tried to cross, they all drowned. That's kind of sad. Unless you're Moses. Yes. Both Moses and Jesus told people who felt like they were slaves that God knew they were suffering. So, when Jesus saw the man in the cemetery... Jesus knew that the man was suffering? Yes, and Jesus knew that God wanted the man to be free. 
It's a story that gives hope to people whose land has been invaded, that God knows they are angry and sad and suffering, and one day they will be free. I know that when I feel sad, I always remember that God loves me and cares about me. And God loved and cared about the man in Gerasene. Maybe one day God will help that man get a few of those Gerasene cows and start a farm. Oh, Emmett, maybe. But whatever happened, we know that God loves us and cares about us. And that's a good story to hear. Amen. And amen. <laughs>